part of it. <laughs>
those are part of life. This sharing is not the expense of each partner's individuality. Rather, the uniqueness of each marriage partner is enhanced by the strength of a common bond. Marriage is a celebration of love. Matrimony symbolizes the ultimate intimacy between a man and a woman. Marriage, at last, is one that always has a little more room to We learn from the Bible that Jesus honored the marriage ceremony with his presence at a wedding. As a matter of fact, he formed, performed his first miracle at a wedding. So I think, I think he really enjoyed weddings. And if he was here today, he would turn all your water into wine and you wouldn't have to pay for anything. <laughs> These miracles indicate that Jesus Christ, the eternal Son of God, the sovereign creator of the universe, and at a wedding ceremony, first used this to demonstrate the fact that he was the Son of God. The bridegroom and bride are partners in life, each forsaking mother and father, to hold on to one another. They share a common name, a united household, a common experience, and a love which blesses and transcends all the cares and trials of life. The mathematics of love are you add and multiply joys while subtracting and dividing the sorrows. Love is an amazing thing. As it says in 1 Corinthians 13, 47, love is patient, love is kind, love is not jealous or boastful, love is not proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable. It keeps no record of being wrong. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up. Love never loses faith. It's always hopeful and endures through all circumstances. That's what you have to remember today. To you, Armando, to you, Danica, I would say happiness in marriage doesn't just happen. You have to work at it. If you thought it got easier after that, you're wrong. With each one of you every day, you may wake up and you won't be that same cheerful person you are right now. She may be grouchy when you wake up. You may, you may snore when you sleep. And you may not wake up. You get through those things because you are not a rough The good marriage must be created and nurtured and worked at. In marriage, little things are big things. Marriage has never been too old to hold hands. That's all right. You can have public displays of affection even until you're 80 or 90 years old. Even 110. Marriage is it's also remembering to say I love you and not taking each other for granted. See, it's a hug sent over the phone whenever you guys are apart. See, the courtship shouldn't end with the honeymoon. It should continue for all your years together. A solid marriage is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is you two standing together facing the world. It's also forming a circle of love around you that gathers in family and friends. Marriage is doing things for each other, not in an attitude out of duty or sacrifice, but in a spirit of joy and love. Speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is a continuously open dialogue between them. We, there are, are sorts of things in marriage or not. For example, if you're looking for perfection in each other, you're not going to find it. For example, um, it's cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and also a sense of humor. Nor is marriage a winner-take-all argument. It's sharing in all things. It's giving each other an atmosphere in which you can both grow together. Marriage is finding room for things of the spirit also as well. It's a search for the good in life, the beautiful in life. A search to bring meaning to your life. A meaning that can only be found in Jesus Christ. It's establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, the dependence is mutual, and obligations are reciprocal. Perhaps most important, marriage is not simply marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. So today's celebration is the outward sign of sacred and inward commitment. Love between a Christian man and boy, man and wife, it's me. It's caring, someone wants to talk to somebody. <laughs> It's a Christian man and wife means caring as much as about the welfare and happiness of your marriage partner as you do about yourself. You will be looking in the same direction together. Your burdens will be lighter together. You will not be divided. You will stand joined together. Joys will be more intense because you share them. No other human tie is more tender. No other vows are more sacred than the ones that you are about to take. Now as you stand in the presence of God, you must remember the responsibilities, what it means to be husband and wife to each other. Armando, you have some vows that you would like to say. Everyone's 
told us that at the very beginning that it was just a flame. <laughs> um, the phone that needs to talk for hours. There's too much talking. Alright. Our lives, isn't this together? This is just a. of your union, an unbroken circle of love. A ring is more than a symbol of your marriage. It is a seal of the value you have made to one another. The circle of the ring is as far as the eye can see, a perfect circle with no beginning or end. So God, too, has perfect love for you. I want you to love one another in His grace, His grace that's never ending. The ring is made of precious metals. You are also precious in God's sight. And now in the life of each other, you will be precious to each other. When you are absent from one another, the presence of the ring reminds you to be faithful and to fulfill your vows to one another. And that when you're gone, they're still connected to you through that ring. Armando, if you would take the ring and slide it onto your beneath finger. And then repeat after me and I'll go slow. You are my life, my love, my best friend. May this be. May this be. A reminder of my love and the commitment we have that we made here today with this ring. I show the world my love for you. Okay? Okay. If you bring the slide on answer. And repeat after me. You are my life. You are my life. My love. My best friend. Yes. May this be a reminder, be a reminder. of my love and commitment love that we've made here today. Made this ring. I show the world my love for you. Show the world my love for you. <laughs> <laughs> possesses an inner glow that represents our hopes, our dreams, and our aspirations in life. Today you have two distinct candle flames and they represent your life before this day. You're individual, you're unique, and you're special. 
take this candle symbolizing your life before today and have together light the center candle to symbolize your union of your individual lives to be one now. As a new flame, as, as this new flame burns undivided, so shall your lives be from now on. From now on, your thoughts will always be for each other rather than your individual self. Your plans will be mutual, your joys and sorrows, both will be shared alike. Go out these two flames, the individual ones here, clear those out. Your lives are forever united together in love. <laughs> May the blessing of the light be with you always, light without, and light within. And may the sun shine upon you and warm your heart until it glows like a great fire, so that others may feel the warmth of your love. Armando, Danica, if there's anything you remember of this marriage ceremony, it was that love that brought you here today. And it's only love which can make a glorious union. And it is by love which your marriage shall endure. <laughs> says now you will feel no rain for each of you will be a shelter for each other now you will feel no cold for each of you will be a warm for each other there is no more loneliness for each of you will be a companion to each other now you are two persons there is only one life before you go now and enter the days of your life together may your days be good and long upon the earth and I have a, I have a little present for you it's not much of a present you can't carry it but I know originally you wanted to get married on 12 12 and 12 12 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. For some reason, I looked at my clock and it started 12 12 when the ceremony started. And the pastor would never lie. <laughs> <laughs> I would just say, it says 12 28 now. The ceremony started at 12 12. So when they asked, you were married on 12 12 12 at 12 12 from now on. <laughs> and if they have any problems, they can come see me. <laughs> in as much as Armando and Danica have consented together in marriage before their family and friends, have pledged their love and declared their unity by each giving and receiving a ring, you are now joined in mutual esteem and devotion by the powers vested in me in the state of Arizona. I pronounce you husband and wife. Can you kiss the bride? Mr. and Mrs. Armando Rodriguez. Yay.